am Jen Largis, and today I'm showing how to build an easy DIY ladder shelf. There are a million different ways to create the popular design known as a ladder shelf. Some even use a real ladder, but almost all have a frame or shelves that give the illusion of rungs of a ladder and have at least one side that is tapered to appear as if the shelf is leaning, as a ladder would lean against a wall. Today's design is made from a single 3 quarter inch plywood panel and a few 1x4 and 1x2 boards. To start the project, we'll first assemble the sides of the shelf, which are comprised of a vertical back leg, an angled front leg, and horizontal cross pieces that run between them. To create the angled pieces, set the saw to 9 degrees and then make the cut. While I provided measurements for all of the cross pieces, I really recommend cutting the top and bottom cross piece to length, installing them between the legs, and then cutting the rest of the cross pieces to fit. This will ensure the tightest joints. To do this, first prep a top and bottom cross piece by drilling a pocket hole at each end. We'll need to plug or fill the pocket holes in the top cross pieces after assembly, but I'll drill the rest along the bottom edge of each cross piece so that the pocket holes will be concealed by the shelves later on. Next, mark the height of the shelves on the back legs, and then set one back leg aside. Align the top cross piece with the top edge of the back leg, and the bottom cross piece above the mark for the bottom shelf. Glue and screw the top cross piece to the front and back leg. Repeat to attach the bottom cross piece to the front and back leg. At this point, it's a good idea to check if the assembled shelf side sits level. To do so, hold a level against the outer edge of the back leg to check that it's plumb or perfectly vertical, and then set the level on the bottom cross piece to ensure it sets level between the front and back leg. Now it's time to size the remaining cross pieces. To do this, elevate the assembled side on scrap blocks and slide the 1x2 under the frame. Align with a mark for a shelf and then mark the angle along the front edge. Cut the piece to size. If you're a perfectionist like me, you'll cut these pieces and trim them a few times to get a perfect fit. Once I get a good fit, I use the cross piece as a template to cut a second cross piece for the remaining side of the assembly. To prep the cross pieces for assembly, drill a pocket hole along the bottom edge of each end so that the pocket holes will face inward after installation. The two sets of prepped cross pieces should look something like this, with the pocket holes facing inward once installed. Once prepped, glue and screw the cross pieces into place on the first side. Repeat this process to complete the remaining side. With the sides complete, it's now time to join them with the 1x4 boards, attached between the sides at the height of each shelf. To install the 1x4 boards, first drill two pocket holes in each end. Apply glue and then screw each board to the back leg of the first assembled side, aligned with the shelf heights and with the pocket holes facing the back. Once all the 1x4s are attached, align the boards with the second side of the ladder shelf and attach them with glue and screws. The last part of this build is to cut and attach the 3 quarter inch plywood shelves. Now I made this design so that all the shelves could be cut from one 2 foot by 4 foot project panel. Using a circular saw and our cut list, rip the five shelves to size. Next, drill pocket holes into the underside of each shelf along its sides and back edge. Be careful not to align the pocket holes with the existing fasteners used to assemble the sides and back of the shelf frame. Apply glue to the sides and back edge of each shelf and slide it into place. The cross pieces and 1x4s now create a nice edge along three sides of each shelf. Screw the shelves into place, flush with the bottom edge of their surrounding boards. To finish the front of each shelf, I could just smooth over the edge with wood filler, but I'm planning to apply stain to this project, so I'm going to finish the front with edge banding. Edge banding is a thin wood veneer with an adhesive back that can be easily applied with a hot iron. Once complete, sand the entire assembly and finish it with a coat of paint or stain to finish the look. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy woodworking projects, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largest. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.